Thank you very much, Sean Kiorla. Tishik, I want to raise the issue of University Hospital Limerick, which, uh, which I have done over the last, since I was elected in 2016, probably on a weekly basis, through promise ledge, through topicals, through priority questions, through oral questions, and there's no update, there's no up, update on the situation in the hospital. 86 people are on trolleys today. There's um, 1,604 people on trolleys already in March, which is the highest ever. Uh, there's an average of 1,500 each month of this year already. All those are the highest ever. Um, the staff are exhausted. There's no uh, proper facilities of getting people through the hospital quick. Uh, home care packages are full. Uh, down, down, step down facilities are full. So, Minister, our teacher, I'm asking you what you personally are going to do because the Minister for Health hasn't stepped up to the plate. Um, and it's an ongoing issue every single day. And the people of the Limerick and the Midwest region have been abandoned by yourself. Because I've raised this with you as myself on a number of occasions. Thank you, You're Abandoned Deputy by Deputy yourself Deputy. and the government, and there is no update in this. Thank you, Tishuk. First of all, we don't abandon anybody. We have no interest in that. I think that's wrong to be making that sort of personal comments about government. And all I want to simply Let say the is this. Answer, please. I've been speaking to HSE again recently, uh, and there was a huge crisis, not huge, a significant crisis across uh, the health service, not because of the impact of this particular variant, because it's creating huge pressures on the hospitals because they have to isolate more and more patients, some who come, 50 per cent of whom come in not because of COVID, but who transfer to have COVID when they're in hospital. That then necessitates isolation and other, uh, other procedures, which makes it doubly difficult on the hospitals and then on the emergency services. And then you have the problem, as I said earlier, in terms of people leaving hospital, having been officially discharged, they can't move into uh, respite or into Thank you, uh, nursing home care because of those nursing homes being the, uh, the, 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 the centres of, of, of outbreaks as much. well. So